Welcome to Blogavision, guys. I'm Jordan. This is Clark. So what we're going to talk about this week, Clark. Well, Jordan, today we're going to be talking about the NFL playoffs, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, the show Jersey Shore, and old 90s cartoons. Okay, so we're going to start off the NFL playoffs today. Clark, here's going to read me the names of the games. I'm going to tell you who I think is going to win and why. New York versus Cincinnati. New York. Why? They already beat the crap out of Cincinnati in Week 17. I don't know if Cincinnati can bounce back from it. Baltimore versus New England. Baltimore. Why? They barely lost New England in the regular season. They just lost Wes Welker. I don't know if they can overcome that. Indianapolis versus New York. Indianapolis. Why? It's Indianapolis. San Diego versus Baltimore. San Diego. Why? Because they're the number two seed. They have an 11 game win streak. I don't think Baltimore's the best team in the playoffs. How about San Diego versus Indianapolis? San Diego. Why? Indianapolis has kind of a bad playoff history and they kind of tend to choke in the big games. How about Philadelphia versus Dallas? Philadelphia. Why? Dallas has much more of a tendency than Indianapolis to choke in the playoffs. I think it's going to happen eventually. Philadelphia has too much of a big play threat. How about uh, Green Bay versus Arizona? Green Bay. Why? I know that they rested the starters in Week 17, but Green Bay already destroyed Arizona last week. And Arizona, once again, I don't think they're the best team in the playoffs, and Green Bay is just on a roll. New Orleans versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Why? When you lose to Tampa Bay in Week 17, your morale has to be horrible. Philadelphia's got to take it. Minnesota versus Green Bay. Green Bay. Why? Aaron Rodgers has to beat Brett Favre eventually, and besides with the last week, Brett Favre hasn't been doing too great the last couple of games. Philadelphia versus Green Bay. Philadelphia. Why? Once again, that big play threat, just I think it's too much for anybody, really. Well, Jordan, we're looking at uh, San Diego versus Philadelphia here for the Super Bowl. What do you think on that one? I'm going to have to go with Philadelphia. Why? San Diego doesn't have a great playoff record either. I think Philadelphia's going to have to take advantage of that. So now we're going to talk about what would be the fight between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Would have been. God damn it, Floyd. The fight was canceled due to the dispute over uh, random drug testing. You see, if Floyd Mayweather wanted um, random blood tests done at any time. Pacquiao, on the other hand, he agreed to random urine testing at any time, but he doesn't like blood testing. But he did agree to get three blood tests taken. One at the press conference, one 30 days before the fight, and one immediately after the fight. Mayweather and his family are officially accusing him of using steroids. But really, he's agreeing to urine tests and three blood tests. What does he really have to hide? Just because he doesn't want to take random ones, because he doesn't like blood testing, he's still taking the test. He has nothing to hide. If this fight would have played out, it was projected to make over $200 million. $200 million. Each fighter would have gotten about $40 million personally. Floyd, step your game up. Step your game up! So next up, we're going to talk about the show Jersey Shore. So what is the show Jersey Shore? Here it comes, here it comes. Oh! oh knocked her out cold. Jesus. Knocked the hell out. Right, here, here it comes. Here, it's going to go here, 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 here. Oh! What a dude. Oh, fuck. Who does that? Oh. Well, it's basically just a bunch of Italian people that are so stereotypically portrayed living in a house. It's sort of like that show, The Real World. Some may call them Guidos. What is a Guido, you ask? Observe the Guido. Look at his obnoxiously large, spiky hair. Check out the sunglasses. Throw a gay, white sunglasses that he paid a couple hundred dollars for. How about those awesome earrings? The female diamond earrings. Or even the cute pink lip gloss. Looks cute on him, doesn't it? Check out that huge cross he's wearing, that really ridiculously tight muscle shirt, and that ridiculously fake tan. This guy is just a joke. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, but my dick is a real close second. So adorable. A lot of people, including the state of New Jersey itself, want the show canceled, and really I don't blame them at all. You know, it's pretty sad when the only thing a state has going for it demands that it gets taken off the air. Do you know what I really miss? Old 90s cartoons. Absolutely. No way that cartoons today are better than the cartoons from the I 90s. I know, I know. You know what cartoon character I really miss? <laughs> Which one? You know, you know, I love the little turtles. Like taking candy from a baby. You must sugar daddy. Check it out. So what other cartoons were there back in the 90s that we always watched? We had, Obviously, we, we have Hey Arnold. from Hey Arnold, Rock is Modern Life. Doug. Yeah, SpongeBob. The Rugrats. SpongeBob's still going. Oh, yeah, but it's not good anymore. No. Um, well, we had a whole bunch of Angry stuff. Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers. Um, 
All that good Dexter's stuff. Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's Lab, absolutely. Oh, uh, wow. Two stupid dogs. Uh, yeah, Cat Dog so, was even decent, at least. Cat Dog. What the hell, Cartoon Network? Oh, what have you done? Okay, so this week we talked about the NFL playoffs, Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, 90s cartoons, and of course, Jersey Shore, unfortunately. Wow. So, now it's your turn. Please, in the comments section, leave your comments about um, who you think is going to win the playoffs for one, and what was your favorite 90s cartoon? We want to know. Let us know. Also, don't forget, like we said in the introduction, tell us what you want us to talk about from now on. Tell us what you want us to do, and we will look at it as long as you're not going to kill us by doing it. Right. So, I guess we're done for today. So, peace out, you guys. Have a good one. Love you.